Hi everyone, this is Neha. Now let's understand the test we conduct when y is continuous, x is discrete, and there is a centering issue and y being non-normally distributed. We can conduct three tests. First, one sample sign. Second, man Whitney. And third is Moods median. One sample sign is to be conducted when we seek to compare median to a standard. Whereas a man Whitney test must be conducted when we seek to compare median of two samples to each other. And Moods median, when we seek to compare median of greater than two samples to each other. Now let us see and understand all these three tests with the help of few examples. One sample sign test, as discussed, can be used to compare median of a sample to a standard. One sample sign is also used for baselining. That is, based on the confidence interval that is published, one can set the process baselines. Depending on the p-value, we decide whether it is a null hypothesis or alternate hypothesis. Null meaning that median equals standard and alternate median does not, is not equal to the standard. One sample sign test is to be used when y is non-normally distributed and data is random. The second test that we discuss is man Whitney test. man Whitney test is to be used when we intend to compare median of two samples to each other that is to conclude about their population. Similarly, if it is a null hypothesis, it would mean that median of both the samples are equal. And if alternate hypothesis, it would mean that median of samples are different, that you would decipher based on p-value.